Hey guys, new glasses here. Chances are you probably heard of the stock market, considering it was all that anybody on planet Earth was talking about about a week ago. You've also probably heard about the news regarding GameStop and Robinhood. You might be wondering though, wh what's happening? I, d I don't understand. I too want to make the big, big, funny money. Well, being a 2000 subscriber YouTube channel, I felt that it was my job to inform you on what happened last week regarding stocks. Here's your comprehensive guide. By the way, this is not financial advice. Don't entrust your finances to a teenager with an obscure YouTube channel. So what exactly is the stock market? Well, when you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a portion or a share of a company. Think of the company as one big old pizza pie. You can buy a slice of that pizza pie for a certain amount of money, and as the entire pizza pie as a whole grows, so does your share or slice. God damn it. The money that you invest into the pizza pie can be used to buy better equipment, better advertising, or better employee wages. Oh wait, not that last one. Everybody gets minimum wage. As people see potential in buying slices of the pie, the demand and therefore the price goes up. Yada yada yada. I don't even know if I explained that correctly. Let's move on. Now, GameStop stocks were big sucking a while ago. It hadn't made a profit in nearly two years, and it was being kicked in the ass by online video game retailers like Steam or some- I don't know. Put something up. Put something else up. Being an obviously unprofitable and terrible, horrible company, no offense, it was a target for short sellers. What are short sellers? Sellers that are under five foot. Just kidding, that was a joke. Ha ha ha. Short selling is essentially betting against a company. The investor borrows a stock from their broker and sells it immediately at its current price. If the stock's price lowers, the investor can buy the stock for a lower price, keeping the difference and returning that borrowed money to their broker. I'm really sorry if you didn't understand that. I'm really tired. But in short, haha, it's investing but backwards and also you could potentially lose infinite money which is pretty bad as well so those big rich investors were just sitting around waiting for the decline of gamestop until the subreddit r slash wall street bets came along and kicked them in their asshole the subreddit with over 4.4 million members at the time rallied together to collectively buy gamestop stock aka gme and by doing so raised the price of gamestop stock by a whole bunch. Now, because of this, the shorts were losing money. They would have to buy the stocks back at a loss. However, most of the short sellers were nasty old rich dudes, so I don't give a shit about them. Oh no, I won't be able to afford that third private island. <laughs> God help me! Because of the rise of GameStop, people were able to pay off their medical bills, their student loans, and a lot of other hoopla like that. Very nice. However, rich people were losing money. And rich people do not like that. And therefore, they used their influence to convince trading apps like Robinhood to prevent the buying of GameStop stock. In the hopes that they could make back their money somehow. This is the, uh, tampering with the market stuff that you've been hearing about lately. This is also what basically happened with stocks like Nokia, Blackberry, AMC, etc. Understandably, people got real mad at Robinhood and those other trading apps and they threatened to sue. And I don't blame them for that. When rich people tamper with the market, oh, it's all right. But when common people do it, whoa, stop, stop, intercourse with my wife. Robinhood eventually pushed out and allowed people to buy stocks in GameStop again. And all was well, except it wasn't. Robinhood, as of recording this video, is still limiting the amount of stocks you're allowed to buy of GameStop, which is a bunch of honky cracker nonsense. <laughs> They're doing this with a lot of things, like AMC, Blackberry, and a lot of things that have the potential to skyrocket in price. So basically, they're taking money from regular people, people who would be able to pay off their student loans or medical bills or severe financial debt, but no, let's just let all the rich people have all the money. All the money! There's a lot of outrage, but how is a long-term investment in GameStop, AMC, BB, uh, Dogecoin, uh, boner. Well, 
I don't know. I run a meme channel, you stupid fucker. I will say though, this isn't financial advice, it's my personal opinion. Most of the value of these stocks come from the people who invest in it. Companies like AMC and GameStop aren't doing too well because of the big bad pandemic. I mean, if the companies can't do anything with the millions of dollars in investment that they have, then that money, as well as your investment, is gonna go down the drain. However, I'm a meme channel, and all of my money is gone. Is there any new stock worth investing in? Will GameStop succeed or fail? Will I ever get a profitable return on my $1 million Dogecoin investment? And also, what about these glasses? I got them like a week ago. Are they nice? Do you guys like them? No? Yeah. Overall, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't die. Save up rent money. And don't forget to invest in this dick bitch <laughs>